Hello fellow coffee botherers. In this video, I'm gonna be answering the question, can dogs drink coffee? I'm doing this video because this is a much more common question than I'd have imagined, and I just couldn't work out why. Who would want to give the dog coffee? Doesn't make sense to me. And no humans like to share other stuff with dogs. Ice cream, for example. Doggy ice cream is an increasingly popular phenomenon. But coffee, why coffee? Don't dogs have enough energy as it is? But I gave this some thought and I think the reason so many people ask this question, including searching for it on Google, is not that they're thinking of making the dog a flat white, but actually it's that the dog managed to drink some of the coffee or found a few coffee beans on the floor and munched them or shoved its face into the nut box for some strange reason because that's what dogs do and ate some used coffee grounds and I can understand that. They do look nice, they don't taste nice though. So I think what a lot of people are really doing is seeking some peace of mind that their dog doesn't need its stomach pumping or whatever, or wondering whether they need to rush to the vet. Just to make it clear, I am not a vet. I've never even played a vet in a TV show. I have played a teacher in a TV show though, but that's a story for another video. So please don't take this as veterinary advice. I can hardly pronounce it, let alone do it. But if you have any concerns whatsoever about the health of any pet, you absolutely should seek proper advice from the proper professional, and that is isn't me. So the answer to the first question, can dogs drink coffee? No, absolutely not. Why? Because caffeine can be fatal to dogs. But just keep in mind that it's caffeine that is the problem here and coffee isn't the only substance that you may have in the home that a dog might consume. So just be cautious when it comes to allowing your dogs to access anything that contains caffeine, not just coffee. And this includes energy drinks, and supplements, for example, if you've got a powder or tablet supplement that contains caffeine, you wanna keep that way out of the reach of dogs and people who might mistake it for something else. This may beg the question, can I give my dog decaf coffee? And the answer to this will be why? What will possess you to want to give your dog coffee, decaf or otherwise? But no, even if decaf, decaf has a very small amount of caffeine, it still contains it and caffeine is not good for dogs. So no, just don't be silly. But while you definitely shouldn't give coffee to a dog, what if your dog comes strolling around and pokes his wet nose into your cappuccino and says, mmm, coffee, yum, drink some, because that's how dogs would talk if they could talk. Is a few licks of flat white or cappuccino gonna be fatal for your furry family member? Well, I'm not gonna answer that because remember, I'm not a vet, but I will say this. Vetmeds.org states that what would be considered as a toxic amount of caffeine for a dog is around 140 milligrams per kilogram in body weight, or 63 milligrams of coffee per pound of body weight. For cats, by the way, they say it's about 80 to 150 milligram per kilogram, or around 36 to 68 milligram per pound in body weight. So if we calculate how much coffee your dog would need to drink for it to be potentially deadly, if you have a bigger dog, a Labrador, Golden Retriever, Husky, German Shepherd, for example, weighing around 35 kilos, or about 77 pounds, would a few accidental licks of a latte be deadly? Well, according to vet meds, at 140 milligrams per kilo, even if we over egg it and say that an average cup of coffee is 140 milligrams of caffeine, while the average is probably more like 100 milligrams, this means that if, if you have a larger dog, we're probably talking about 35 cups of coffee, about one per kilo in body weight. Not licks, full cups of coffee. Obviously, the smaller the pet, the bigger the risk, but even the average chihuahua, about two kilos or just over four pounds would, according to this data from vet meds, equate to two full cups of coffee. So we're not just talking about a few licks. Remember, I'm not a vet, but it would appear that while you definitely shouldn't be giving your dogs coffee, if your dog manages to divert your attention by setting off a fire alarm or pretending to have a dump in the middle of the kitchen or something, so we can run over to your brew and have a couple of licks, you might want to make yourself another coffee because let's face it, your dog licks his own that's probably all you really need to worry about. If you come downstairs one morning and find your golden retriever sat reading the paper well into his 30th double espresso, well, my biggest concern, if this were me, would be my own sanity, especially given we don't even have a dog. But yeah, that would definitely be somewhat alarming. What about coffee beans? What if your dog munched some coffee beans while you weren't looking? Well, vet meds give info on this too stating that the potentially fatal amount of caffeine would equate to around 7.5 ounces or about 212 grams of coffee beans for a retriever or German Shepherd, for example. 
I think they've calculated this literally from the average amount of coffee beans used for a coffee, but actually they're probably missing the fact that digesting a whole coffee bean is probably unlikely to extract the same percentage of caffeine from it than grinding and extracting under nine bars of pressure is gonna yield. But anyway, I'm just being pedantic. But just to give you an idea, this is about 200 grams of coffee beans. So, okay, if you have a very, very small lightweight dog, then a smaller amount of beans might be an issue, but most bigger dogs would have to munch their way through a heck of a lot of coffee beans. What about used coffee grounds? Again, depending on the size of your dog, even if we were to assume that the coffee grounds still contain the same amount of caffeine that they did before they became used coffee grounds, which obviously they wouldn't because much of the caffeine has been extracted. Still, depending on the size of the dog, we're talking about a relatively big amount of used coffee grounds to be eaten. And they taste like crap, so I can't see many dogs eating much more than a lick or two before they go off and lick their own but as I mentioned earlier, what I'd be far more concerned about would be caffeine pills or powders. Caffeine pills, for example, vet meds state that one caffeine pill is potentially fatal to a Yorkie or a Chihuahua, and that just three tablets might be enough to cause serious problems for a pug or a poodle. But coffee, although does contain caffeine, it does take quite a quantity of it to equate to enough caffeine to be potentially fatal to a dog. So as I keep saying, don't give your dogs coffee, it's silly, just don't do it. But if your dog licks the foam off your cappuccino, your biggest worry is probably where his tongue has been just prior to that and whether or not you might want to make yourself another one. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to click the like button. Thanks. Professor Timothy Darville, an archaeologist from Bournemouth University, has recently done some research which suggests that Stonehenge was actually created as a solar calendar and this has absolutely nothing to do with clicking the like button. True, but click it anyway. Thanks. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not click here to watch another one? And don't forget to become an official Coffee Botherer. You need to click this image around here somewhere of my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.